Russia has also said to India that if India needs anything, Russia is willing to give. And then you must have also heard that Russia and India is also developing new payment system that will be totally different and it will have no dependency on the dollar based payment system. Because if you see today, everything in this world is dealt in dollars. In other words, the US dollar has a monopoly in this world. It is the world's strongest currency and every currency in this world is compared to dollar. And please don't think that the US dollar became the strongest currency just like that. It was a pre-planned decision back in 1940s during the end of World War II. 44 US allied countries met in Bretton Woods and they collectively chose the US dollar as a system to manage foreign exchange. You can read about this arrangement in the Bretton Woods Agreement. So this is how the US dollar became world's reserve currency. Now having made the US dollar as world's strongest currency, today if you see US uses its own currency that is the US dollar as a weapon by putting economic sanctions on other countries. This is called weaponization of dollar. Russia in 2019 shifted its reserves out of dollars and they started selling oil in non-dollar currencies. If you can create a system by which you can run your country's import and export without paying in dollars, then the US sanctions will not affect your economy. Look at this picture, you will notice that from 1999, the share of total export around the world was conducted majorly in either US dollar or Euro. So you see how the western countries maintain an economic leverage over any country in this world. When you put economic sanctions on a country, you are basically cutting the economic arteries of a country. And in this Russia-Ukraine war, we are witnessing how United States is weaponizing dollar. Without firing a single bullet, United States has put a large dent to the Russian economy. If today it is happening to Russia, tomorrow it can happen to anyone. Even India is aware of it. India has been facing threats from the US since the 90s. So if you see, US and the Western countries' sanctions are an attempt to show Russia that how much Russia needs to obey and listen to the Western market and government to survive. But then if you see, Vladimir Putin is not a submissive person. So if you see, in all practicality, it is a necessity to have an alternative foreign payment system that has no dependency on the US dollar whatsoever. So keeping that in mind, Russia, who is today the victim of world's largest number of sanctions, is coming up with its own international payment system, wherein anyone who wants to do business with Russia will have to pay Russia in Russian ruble instead of the US dollar. So for example, if Russia and India does business, then India has to pay Russia in ruble and not in the US dollar. Similarly, if China and Russia do business, then China has to pay ruble to Russia.